We're going deeper. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Hard rock. Well, we're going to work on that. All right, good. I probably should just like find a place to start quarrying too. I should have made this all four instead of one. Eh, eh, whatever. Alright, well, that'll give us some stuff to dig, anyways. And. That's Gabro. Bringing it. Okay. making a um, hospital once upon a time Merchants have arrived. Broker cannot access depot. Where are you, Kettle? just hanging out at the top of a precipice here for reasons. Are you telling me you can't get down from there? because there's reptile people. Hey, Supernova, how you doing? Where'd you go? You're quite the climber. Never mind on the digging. Let's 
Uh, <laughs> frankly, <laughs> this one's driving me a little nuts at the moment. <laughs> Keeps on wanting to climb up. Oh, thank you. You are quite the climber. climbing. Hmm. All right, you seem to have found a safer sh spot there. So now we'll try digging from here up. Again, I shouldn't do this right on the corner, actually. Um, from here up. And unfortunately for you, I've already scheduled a whole bunch of other jobs. Um, and then we'll dig that. Okay. Uh, yes, merchants. Brokers still can't access the depot, but we'll we'll deal with that when we get there. Um, all right, we have uh, no amulets this time. We have crowns, I think. Yeah, it's a little sketchy. Let's not sell the human tooth crown. Uh, scepters. Yes. Earrings. Rings. What did they want? Oh, I don't remember. All right, we'll let them do that and uh, keep track of this for a little bit. like a seven. Your job is only to mine. Why are you harvesting plants? Also, um, Supernova, unfortunately, I'm, I'm here to report that uh, your dwarf died. Uh, specifically, somehow, you ended up in the water over here. 
I'm not real clear on why I had a bunch of dwarves just plummet to their doom here. Uh, I don't know if they jumped off from over here or if they jumped off from up here, but um, yeah, it was uh, quite a quite a fall. Oh right, <laughs> I was gonna do something about this mess. <laughs> I was going to install a lever. Anyone digging yet? If that dwarf leaves the top of that mushroom cap, I'm going to be a little pissed. <laughs> like, I am digging this, this cat, this, uh, tunnel just for you. <clears throat> and the third cavern layer has been discovered. Love you. Unfortunately, I haven't really mastered the second one yet, so I don't know if I should just leave this one open. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. All right, we may need a temporary new broker. I can assign it to my other necromancer. <clears throat> sure, why not? Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies. All right. Uh, well, we'll take these picks. I'll take the cougar leather armor. The steel boots I'll take. Copper shield. Buckler. Buttons is very excited about going outside, let me tell you. Uh, I'll take these gauntlets. Take the greaves. Chain leggings. I'll even take the, oh, a spike, a silver spike? No. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I want a copper cap. Not really. I want a copper mace. Yeah, fine. All right. All right, the non-broker necromancer now.
Yay, that's a male. Nothing terribly important. The amphibian woman blowgunner, Lelgo, was spotted sinking around. I'll live to fight another day. You're wielding a large linen cap made for humans as a weapon. It is encrusted with loam. <laughs> and I'm sorry, that's kind of awesome in its own way. All right, squad, get it. I meant to follow it. Leave my elephants alone. All right, it left. Never mind. Somehow we lost. Who was in that position? I don't even know. Um, Earth. Apparently there was a voracious cave crawler. I wonder who fought it. I want to get this book. No, I'd still like to maintain my distance because I am not ready for that. Um... Not sure how that got up there, but sure. Hey, Duchess of Tea, how you doing? I need a place for a library. Hammerman's been found dead. Oh, stop. Uh oh, someone's been animating things again. That was my, my, um, I wonder if that was my other military dwarf I didn't realize was missing. Mosquito people on the, f on the map now. Where are you? All right, you're escaping finally good All right, now we can block this off again Wherever it is But yeah, I'm doing good getting an opportunity to do a long stream on a Sunday is uh Something I always enjoy. Been missing for a week, yeah. Darn. We 
no more horn stuff. Found the dead body. This is going to be a problem. No migrants, that's nice. Alright, dwarves. Heard him, you're not even in that squad. What are you doing? <laughs> Monam, you're a child. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. This is why having necromancers in the fort is generally not a good idea. Rygoth is uh, doing battle, building a bronze crossbow with zero bolts. Oh, they killed it. Oh, it was actually uh, Rygoth that got the kill too. All right then. Back to business. You. Station. Here. Uh, right. I wanted a place to put books. And I don't have a library. Where could we put a library? Let's do one along the inside here. I like that. All right, let's make some bookcases. Not Adam and Time Ballist Arrows.
There's some pretty unhappy dwarves in this forge. Up oh, note, Momas was one of the most unhappy and is not anymore. far down did we go? Gem's been found dead. No, Shem is right there. Ow. There's something weird going on in this fort. <laughs> Like, all of a sudden, I see somebody just carrying an axe right nearby, and uh, my necromancer is dead for some reason. Weird. Magma Sea. You have discovered an unusual volcanic wall studded with gems and another. pump that up or I can just leave it down here and bring the metal down
All right, we can dig it, do that, right? Move it up to there. like that It's just going to cancel a lot, but that's fine. That is fine. All right, so we're going from negative 43 down to negative 118. Oh, but we don't have iron work screws. We're going to need to make some iron. I'm going again. Forgotten beast Shassar has come, a gigantic scaly mantis. It has four short horns and it has a bloated body. Its clear scales are jagged and set far apart. Beware its poisonous sting. Okay, that's a little dangerous. Bass bugger. Well, Nish is right here, ready to go. And just like that, it's dead. Good job, Nish. Faithful undead. Can't butcher that because it was a insect, right? I think. So somehow our other necromancer became an undead. I not clear to me how she died. Uh, Locum the ranger has created Otanganet Moses at Yudesh, a cave spider silk toga. Toga, toga, toga. 
and offers it to the lenses of tenacity. Lovely. Uh, I think that belongs in the former place of that. Actually, we'll put it over here. Ducks claim the nest nest box now. spider silk toga I have no clue of its value because someone died apparently it is encrusted with rectangular limonite cabochons studded with nickel and encircled with bands of cave spider silk and goblin cap it is made from cave spider silk cloth the object menaces with spikes of cave spider silk oh right our our bookkeeper died too all right You can go back to your job now that you're free. Uh, bookkeeper. Is that that one? No, that's the manager's desk. That one? Wait a minute. I never... Earth the Weaver. Very strange. I definitely never assigned that to Earth the Weaver. And I feel like if they were the bookkeeper, they would have kept their but they would have improved some skills over time right I don't know that's strange very strange this force had some strange occurrences and I don't know whether to make them into bugs or if they're um you know just oddities I guess Another, oh, this is the same one. Amphibian woman blowgunner Lelgo. I'll live to fight another day. Last time she was here, she was wielding a linen cap, which was studded with loam. Still has it. All right. See if we can get to her before she runs away this time. Definitely a lot of mercenaries in this world, oddly enough. All right. <clears throat> Early winter 255. Um, I think we're going to go for 
just the end of the season, and then we'll call it a day. Been a good productive day. We uh been working on a bunch of different things. We're getting there. I want to thank everybody for joining me for a good portion of the day. Anyways, it's been a good one. You too on YouTube. Doing a good job over there. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not. If you're uh, on the Twitch side and you haven't followed the channel, please do. It helps the channel. It helps things grow. I'm sorry. Why didn't I get a diplomacy option there? I'm sorry. We have giant wrens on the map. This map keeps on getting worse and worse. I was linking that to something. <laughs> this is a bit of a mess. <laughs> I will say, I have an uncanny ability to not do things successfully, let me tell you. That is the way it goes. Mm, Shem would like to become a citizen of Channel Rapid. You can. You, you already were. But, you know, it's fine. someone's dining room doesn't have a chair in it right now. I should probably fix that. No chair there. I imagine that's pissed them off some. Why do I keep getting diplomacy and then not? That's not good. Cancels linking a building for dangerous terrain. Yeah, you're dead. I don't know how you're not dead. But okay. A lot of blood around that. It calls for metal uh, chains, but it seems to be fine when I put in rope ones. That's probably fine for now. Alright, so the real question is, are we getting our books in here? Another visitor. All right, good. You're a lasher without a whip. Gonna lash me with that scroll? Whatever, dude. A 
just seems like a bad idea, you know? I appreciate the equipment, though. First off, I should really just cancel this stuff so we don't actually do it. <clears throat> I don't want that to, to disintegrate. The native aluminum bound codex, the written portion consists of a 23 page short story entitled Smiles in the Subordinate Rack, authored by Estrur Negamosa. Uh, the work has no particular subject. The writing is very rigid and is quite cruel. Overall, the prose is amateurish at best. Thank you. 
No one seems to be grabbing that book, huh? There's some weird stuff going on here. Like, no one seems to be grabbing this stuff, right? So, I need to be able to make iron pipe sections and iron work screws. I don't remember if they were part of my fort or not. Smelter. Specifically, eliminate. Section of the cavern has collapsed. Not a cavern. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I guess it melted. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. 
That's really bad, David. <laughs> huh. Yeah, we really need to disable that. Um, did we ever connect it? No. <laughs> I'm busy. The Forgotten Beast, uh, a Dadgeteer has come, an enormous three-eyed tarantula. It has lacy wings and a bloated body. Its dark brown exoskeleton is sleek and smooth. Beware its poisonous bite. It has wings. It has lacy wings. Okay. Now tarantula doesn't have um webs by default. So might be okay. All right, Nish is already stationed down there, so we should be good there. And maybe it can't fly anyways, so it has to figure out how to get down. He's doing battle with Nish. And it's already quite wounded. Nish the, uh, the Slayer, huh? Four notable kills, 24 others. All right. Good job, Nish. since I've done a pump stack. Aiton the Weavers created a Meri Meri Merirumad, a cave spider silk rope, and offers it to the lenses of tenacity. I 
I just, I'm busy. The Forgotten Beast Uja has come. A great skinless pterosaur. It is a square shell and it is a bloated body. Beware its webs. Hmm. That could be problematic. I think I'm almost done with this, so I'd like to just finish this. Hi. What's up? Okay. I'll be right there. I was just about to finish anyways. Well, my plan was to finish at the end of the year, but Ginger is apparently ready, so we're going to finish now. Uh, I want to thank everybody for hanging out today. I, it's been a great great day and uh it's been lovely to have you all uh also i noticed that we have this we'll do that all right uh time to say goodbye to channel rapid 